indices traded bullish yesterday achieving the lows and recovering from the support levels have seen a very good bullish move whether be it germany 40 or dax whether be it uk 100 for 300 or nasdaq 100 in dow jones these four indices we are going to cover up in this video we are going to see which position you should take trading these indices today how to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators this is the first update for the day the next update for us indices specifically nasdaq 100 in dow jones will be released before the us session what that is let's start first we look into germany followed with uk then nasdaq and dow jones watch till the end and yes if you think that the content is adding value to your trading decisions do press the like button do share subscribe and comment friends this is the only motivation which i have and this inspires me to deliver to the best of my abilities twice a day let's start firstly on the early charts what has happened on germany see the drop there the retracement and now this is see this retracement is coming after a double bottom levels it is formed a double bottom and since then it is retraced now after the retracement now it is again resuming its downward journey now 15200 which was the resistance earlier is now going to remain a great great support yes below 15200 there will be further bearishness which may prevail here in fact we can if you look at the move here see it is a bearish move it is trying to look downwards possibly below 15 to 20 200 certainly more bearishness is going to prevail here and yes any point of time if you look or if you see dax staying below 15 180 certainly you can say that we are going to look forward to another round of drop here if you look at a stock i stick this is looking downwards the MACD is in green trying to converge and cross over for sell rsi is also staying bearish as of now so indicating that there could be further bearishness today if you look at two hour charts, similarly on the two hour charts, see after the drop, this is the, the retracement. 15300, 15320 is the level which is going to give it a maximum resistance today. And if you look at the movement so far, you will find it is trading in this bullish channel, almost flat top and reversal here. Suggestive of bearishness. Any move below 15200, just stay short. We, ca we can look forward to 15150, 140 as the first support, 15100 as the next. And below 15100 is where the bears will take over. The stock I stick overbought looking downwards. Look at MACD here. See, MACD crossed over here. It has a still bullishness left. Remember this. Yes, we have a bullish indication here. RSI is trying to trade with slight bearish bias. On the three hour charts, also similar observation here. Yes, right now it is still in the bullish channel. Only and only if it breaks below 15200, further bearishness may prevail. Yes, after the drop, the retracement is done and now it is trying to take the down. At the same time, a rise above 15,300,320, consider it for a reversal towards 360 and 400. The stochastic overbought. Look at the crossover in MACD. This is coming at a bottom. This is trading with divergence. Look at the wave here. See first wave, second wave, third wave initiating. Could pull the prices on the upside. Be careful here. RSI comfortable. On the 4R, now on the 4R charts, what has happened? See the greener candles. This is retracement. And the next candle will decide its direction. I will possibly, once it stays below 15200, we can see a further drop towards 170, 140 zone. Very, very good support exists here. The stock I stick overbought. MACD is still bearish. It is trying to converge. It is not yet crossover. And on MACD also, this is the wave formation and a crossover here should bring bulls out here. RSI comfortable coming to the day. Now on the daily charts, important thing is the bottom which it has formed at 15100. Very, very strong support levels exist at 15100. Today, higher highs are seen. So in fact, even if it retraces, as long as 15140, 150 levels are not breached, you are not going to treat DAX as bearish. And below 15100, you are not going to treat DAX as bullish. Yes, below 15100, we have to go for selling DAX here. We are going to look forward to a good drop. The chances for which appears to be less, I will be still looking forward for DAX to yield a, another bullish candle which may take it till towards 15, 320, 360 levels at least and then further up. See what has happened here. The drop, drop, retracement, drop, retracement, drop, higher lows and retracing. So higher highs in fact can be expected where we may in fact see DAX moving towards 15,600 again. So yeah. The buying entries today in DAX is at 15,280 and the selling entries it is, is at 15,200. For this 80 points, we are just going to watch. And below 15,200, if you are selling 15,170 and 140, only below 15,140 is where the bears will take over. And then 15,100. 15,100 is the level below which you should not think of buying DAX. Below 15,100, we are going to look it forward to another round of drop, taking it below 15,000. On the upside, 
I will expect it to rise towards 15,360,400 zone, but then uh, major resistance at 15,320, then 360 and 400. If these three are taken, just stay long in bags. We are going to look forward to a rise there. Take your trades accordingly. Let's have a look at UK 100. Now see FTSE 100 after forming the lows here has retraced. Yes, it has come to the resistance at 7,660. And with those as resistance, it is trying to reverse, trying to trade bearish. Now, C7650, 760 zone certainly always have been a greater, greater resistance. Even if you look at right now, it is still yielding higher lows, higher highs. 7620 is the major support. Again and again, I am repeating these same levels. Yesterday also we have seen if it trades below 760, stay short for further bearishness, but 7600, 7580 levels, it needs to break past by these two levels in order to confirm the drop here. A stock has to get bottom. MACD is crossing over for a sell. See this retracement and then now again the crossover should bring slight bearishness rsi looking down on the two similar observation resistance there on the upside at 7660 is very very strong with that is resistance it is reversing 7620 very 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 good support below that further bearishness is going to be seen for 7600 and 75 below 7580 stay short for 7550 stochastic looking down MACD is at bottom it is looking forward to converge crossover for sell RSI trying to trade bearish. On the 3 hour charts, second red candle has started. We can possibly expect it to continue with the down mood for a while. We can possibly expect 7600 also. A stock high stick looking down. The MACD, this is only concern. The MACD is at bottom and a possible crossover should bring bullishness. Also, if you look at the moves on the MACD, see it has completed first wave, second wave is initiating. So yes, if it crosses over, we can see the bullishness, else we can possibly looking forward to the bottom here. Thus, below 7620, we have to stay short. RSI looking down, coming to 4 on the 4 hour charts, double top and a reversal. First red candle, I will wait for 7620 levels. See, none of the candles since yesterday have closed below 7620. A candle closer below 7620 should bring further bearishness towards 7600 and 7580 levels. A stock high stick looking down, the MACD is bearish, trying to Trade with the bearish bias, RSI looking downward. Coming to the daily charts, the resistance here at 7700. And this is certainly the first resistance. After that, a drop and a retracement. Now 7650, 7660, greater, greater resistance. And with that as resistance, we are looking forward to a possible round of reversal. Now, if you look at the moves here, see what has happened. Previous candle, lower highs, lower And thus, if you look at today again, we can see a swing candle. Thus, below 7,620, stay short for 7,600, 7,580 and then 7,550 levels. On the upside, beyond 7,650, stay long. So, a buying entry at 7,650, but then be very, very cautious on the upside for 7,660, 7,680 zone. Very, very strong resistance at 7,660, 7,680 and then 7,700. Three levels, if it breaks past by, stay long. We are going to look forward to a major bullish move. On the downside, a selling entry we have already seen. Take your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ 100, if you look at that, see what we had seen yesterday, the double bottom, W-shaped recovery. It has recovered. It has come down to 15,200. It's next resistance zone here. Now, achieving the resistance, it is looking forward to retrace again. Now, 15,100, which was the resistance earlier, is now going to remain a very, very good support for NASDAQ 100 here. So, yes, a bearish bias below 15,100 will be seen here and then again we will be looking forward to another round of drop. Now, after the drop, this is the retracement is done. Lower highs are done. Lower highs, lower lows. It is still trying to stay bearish. A stock has to get bottom. MACD is in green trying to converge. RSI is looking down. Coming to 2 hour charts. Likewise, on the 2 hour charts, resistance at 15,200 is very, very strong. With that as resistance, it is trying to drop. But the moving averages have crossed over. This is a bullish. However, possibly we can see again at least uh, prices to converge towards 15,100 levels, even if it has to stay bullish here. Below that, 15,050 and then 15,000. Any point of time, tech 100 is staying below 15,000, stay short. Stock has take overbought, trying to cool down. MACD is in green, it is trying to converge crossover. RSI is flat. Coming to 3 hour charts, similar observation, but look at these. Candles, look at these candles here. 15, 100, 0, 8, 0. Very, very, very good support. At the same time, these are also achievable levels here. Yes, after achieving the highs, it is trying to retrace. We can see a possible retracement. We can see a possible move towards 15, 0, 5, 0 as well. 
Stock has taken overbought, trying to look down. MACD has just crossed over, trying to trade with slight bullish bias. This crossover can bring little bullishness. However, right now on the candles, it is appearing to be a bearish bias. RSI is flat, coming to four on the four hour charts. First red candle, second in making, we can look forward to 15, 120, 080 levels. In fact, 15, 0, 5, 0, 15, Now, what has happened here? Symmetrical moves, double top done, and it can take its or continue its direction here yes any rise beyond 15200 should be taken up a reversal Mo magd trying to converge crossover rsi flat and on the daily chart now this is the point of concern on the daily chart see higher lows lower highs consolidation going on a drop from here a drop below 15000 to should be taken up very very seriously and that should be the reversal now see what has happened a reversal sign here from the top of the channel since then we are seeing lower highs lower lows and this also confirmed that a rise above 15200 today should be taken up very very seriously which might take the prices towards 15350 and in fact it can try to take it towards 15400 as well if it stays above 15350 so 15200 220 zone is going to remain critical for the day the stock has taken has dropped macd is in green rsi is flat so looking at this i will recommend you to sell today at 15 100 and buy at 15200 for this 100 points stay away from tech 100 just watch just observe below 15100 i will look forward to 15070 15040 is the two support levels and then below that 14970 levels will be seen below that more bearishness 49800 49900 and 800 will be achieved on the upside you can buy here at 15200 expect 15240 153 and 340 beyond 15 340 sky is the limit we are looking at 15 400 plus plus levels remember first green candle is seen second green candle also can be expected if it breaks past 15 uh, 240 levels then more bullishness is going to prevail take your trades accordingly now let's say we look at dow jones and if you want to learn this art of trading you can join my mentorship batch. the 26 batch has started yesterday 27 batch is going to start on 20th of november register yourself now itself reach out to me for more details my telegram and email ids are mentioned in the channel and video now look at the early charts for us 30 here see the divergence of the price from the moving average convergence towards the moving average can be expected 33900 is the support level below this only bearish will take over and hence below 33900 just stay short and more bearishness may prevail there a stock as is looking down macd trying to converge crossover for sell this is the second red candle more bearishness may prevail RSI has dropped, coming to two observation. Similar observation on the two hour charts as well. See, after forming the bottom here, higher highs are done. So it is still trying to trade in this bullish channel. If you look at the formation here, you will find US 30 staying in this bullish channel, and 33600 is the bottom for this. Any drop below 600 is where the bears will take over. If you look at the two hour charts, lower highs are seen. With the lower highs, we and the flat bottom, it is trying to trade. Possibility for it to achieve 33,900 and 800 will be very, very high. The stock has taken has dropped. MACD is in green trying to converge. RSI is trying to stay bearish. Coming to 3. Likewise on the 3 RHRs, lower highs. If you look at, beautifully lower highs are seen. It was outside Bollinger Bands. That is why it is trying to retrace. We can expect at least 33,900. And below, below 33,900, more bearishness towards 33,800 levels will be seen. The stock has taken looking down. MACD is in green trying to converge rsi staying flat and on the four hour chart similar observation only and only if it stays below 33800 the bears will be confirmed the stock is looking down macd is in green same observation what we have seen on other time frames rsi is flat coming to the daily now on the daily charts look at the critical point here see higher lows higher highs it has to come out of this channel price is getting the support from the 20 period moving average there is a gap left any drop below 33600 is where only the bears will be confirmed else it is trying to see the preceding candle has a wick a drop towards 33900 or 800 zone and then later in the day a breakout again can be expected this is also very much possible it can completely reverse here see these are markets anything and everything is possible if you look at it is trading in this channel the top of the channel now at around 34 400 34 500 levels stock is rising macd is divergent macd is bullish it is looking upwards as of now rsi is flat so looking at this i will recommend you to buy here at uh, 33 rather i will say i will recommend you to buy at 34000 levels wait for it to break past 34100 
once it stays above 34100 certainly this time we are going to look forward to a sharper sharper rise towards 34200 and 34400 levels so 34100 is the milestone which we have to wait for it to break past by thus stay long above 34000 levels on the downside i will recommend you to sell here at 33900 levels below which or rather you can sell here at 33940 expect 33900 at the first and then 840 800 at the next target so if you are selling at 33900 remember there are great great supports at 33800 levels and as long as it respects 33800 the possibility of a reversal from any point of time uh, before 33800 will be very very high hence you have to trade with caution you have to trade with a stop loss and a trailing stop loss trade accordingly trade profitably do like share subscribe and comment join my mentorship batch and signals channel reach out to me for any of your trading or training queries my telegram and email id that mentioned in the channel and video description join my free telegram channel for more live updates the next update on nasdaq 100 and dow jones will be released before the us session watch that as well thank you very much